Well, one people, and welcome. Welcome to a Christmas story. A story of travelling, a story of drinking, a story of meeting some great inspirational drunkards and maniacs. In this story, we aim to visit all 19 Zone 1 Weatherspoons in London and have an alcoholic beverage at each of every one of them. If that was not difficult enough, there is a strict time limit of 24 hours and we didn't start till 2pm, which actually meant that there were only 9 hours to go. I hope you would like to join us on this journey because I think it is something that you rather would enjoy. Onwards to the moon underwater. Hi brown people, you join me here at the moon underwater which is 28 Leicester Square. This is the first weather spoons of many and here is my review. Overall it's a bit small but the Christmas decorations if you have a look around maybe, 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 maybe not. <laughs> my camera doesn't want to do that, they are very nice. Uh, the Christmas burger, quite nice, but not quite as nice as the Mackey's Christmas burger. The Copperberg is cold and tastes like Copperberg. And some lovely Christmas presents. So, uh, the Christmas presents get an 8 out of 10. The food and drink get like a 4 out of 10. And the spoons, I can't give it more than a 3. See you next one. Go, 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 go. Uh, one people, you join me at the Montague Pike. Yeah, yeah. Montague Pike, uh, it is a wonderful spoon. It has a high ceiling, lots of seating, it's very large. I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10 plus uh, 8 out of 7 for Christmas decorations. Thank you, see you at the next one. You join me at the Shakespeare's Head near Holborn Station. Uh, drinks a little bomb mistake, it's only 9 out of 10. The atmosphere here, uh, like an 8 out of 10, but we did get ID'd, which makes it a 7 out of 10. On to the next one. Welcome people, you join me in the, what is it? Pendrels Oak. Pendrels Oak. The Pendrels Oak near somewhere in London. Uh, the spoons is quite a traditional spoons. Uh, I rate it about a 7 out of 10 for decor. The fireball bombs were quite uh, warm, which is probably going to be like a 6 out of 10. Uh, did you get ID'd? No. No, no so that's going to be like, an, yeah, 8 out of 10 overall. This is a, a good basic quiet spoons. I like it. We have at the Knights Templar in London again. Uh, it is very capacious. It is very <laughs> capacious, large, big. Right, you go. Uh, it is very nice. There's some marble effect there. The details on the cornice are very nice. Unfortunately, drinks did take about what, 12 minutes to arrive. So yeah, we can't see a time of It was going to be a 9.5. Hmm? Oh, no toilet. When you're having your vinyls around the glass pillar, that is top-notch toilet for you. So the toilets make it like a 9.5, but because the drinks took a while, it's only going to be a 9. So, uh, thank you, see you at the next one, I can still stand up. Good. Uh, well, one people, and welcome to... Tom, what is it? I don't, I don't know where I am. Oh, it's the, the Sir John... Old Castle? Old Castle, yes. The Sir John Old Cast in London near Farringdon Station. So if you're ever coming to Farringdon, come here. Actually, don't come here. It's pretty shit. Like, they have made no effort on the Christmas decorations. It is quite small. I, I can't give it more than a 6 out of 10 in this movie. Like, it's a movie. It's, a, it's like a shit drink, so maybe... 5 out of 10 on the drink, 6 out of 10 on the spoons. The toilet. Toilets? Flies in there. There are flies in the toilet. 5 out of 10, don't come here. Go somewhere down the road. See you in a bit. You, you got this? Uh, we are at the Rockin' and Arms in Elephant and Castle. Uh, my review is the pub is quite nice. It's just a general weather spoons pub under a tower block. 6 out of 10. Magnus is a shit cider which can get a maximum of a 1 out of 10. Do not buy it ever. And the toilets downstairs are like a swimming pool of urine, if I had to summarise them. So, uh, I mean, I'm not going to blame them for making Magnus shit because it's not their fault. So I can conclude like a 5 out of 10 average reasonable weather spoons. On to the next one. What pub is this? I've literally not got a clue. The Willow, Willow Walk. Oak, the Willow Walk. We are at the Willow Walk, somewhat near Victoria Station. It is quite a reasonable spoon. There are like 18 people in the whole spoon. It's quite quiet. It's quite nice. It's like an average spoon. So I'm going to give it out of a 6 or a 10. For whatever blue stuff this was, it was like pure syrup. It was very sweet. But I don't mind it. So I'm going to have to give it an 8. I haven't visited the toilets. Yeah. Opinions on the She's toilets, guys. Toilet opinions. Decent. We're getting decent. So, uh, spoons hold 7 out of 10, a very solid spoon. Onwards to Victoria's. 
go. Well, grand people, you join me in Victoria Station. Uh, lots of people in here, but this is the Weatherspoons in Victoria Station. <laughs> I had no idea it was here, but it is very good. Uh, it is convenient, it wasn't too expensive, and I would probably give it a 7 out of 10. The bells and the coke, probably about an 8 out of 10. And the life advice, you can't see the man up there, the life advice from him with a 10 out of nah, 10. Nah, he's in the background. 10 out of 10. And I imagine he's there every day. So if you <laughs> want to go see him, come to Edisburns Victoria. I don't know what the 10th Spoons is, but we're going to be there shortly. See you in a bit. Well, we are in the... Any Anyone? I don't actually know. Wait, what? My grand people, we are in the uh, Metropolitan Bar. We are in the Metropolitan Bar where Baker Street. Baker Street. I thought we were still at Victoria, but no, we have moved. We caught some trains. Some militants made us put masks on for a bit. <laughs> it's not bad. Uh, the pub over there is very good. We're in like our little corner here. We have a disabled lift for disabled access, which is top tier the brandy was quite a nice brandy the wkd i imagine was like a wkd tastes like a wkd uh overall eight out of ten like it's it, it doesn't shout about it but it's a very good spoons and that is what i like in the spoons so we're over halfway here and i can still do a comprehensive review which is positive so i'll see you at the next one goodbye well, grand people, and welcome back. Uh, we're on our pub crawl. I don't know where we are, barrel but it's vault. Barrel Vault. We're at the Barrel Vault near King's Cross St Pancras, which are two of my favourite London tournaments. We have this beautiful apple orchard cider, and I'm going to give a quick review of this because I think it is necessary for the story. This is by far the best the pure apple cider I have had. It is great. Like a cider, nine out of ten. I'm reserving 10 out of 10 for some kind of special brewery stuff, but in terms of a normal cider, this is the best I've had. The pub, the toilets are beautiful, the mosaics on the wall are beautiful, the table, I quite like the aluminium timber, like, yeah, it's a nice contrast. Here. The contrast, as Josh says, is beautiful. So this, it's gonna be a nine out of 10. Like, it, it, it's not shouting about it, it's not ornate, it's not beautiful, but for what it is, it is shouting about it and it is great. The alcohol here is great, thank you Charles, 9 out of 10, easy. Uh, next one, number 12, we're going to do it. We're well, one people, and we're in the Angel, opposite Angel Tube Station, and I must confess, I am very drunk. This is not an adventure to anyone, this is not a surprise, I am very drunk. I've had this pizza, I am no less drunk, that has not helped in any way, probably because of the Gothenburg, but the spoons, again, it is clean, it is tidy, it is nice, it's a normal spoon that I'd rate 8 out of 10. I fear that my death is oncoming and that I may be dead very shortly, so if this is the last message you hear from me, I thank you for the subscriptions, the likes, and all that. I hope to join you at Pub 11, still alive. See eight. you in a bit. Third, what, we're up to 13? This is Pub 12. I hope to join you at Pub 13, alive. The fact that we're on Pub 13 has given me a new hope. It's oh, like Star pub Wars. Pub is 12. Yeah, so we're going to Pub 13. It is good. I see you there. Thank you. See you in a bit. Good night. Okay, uh, to be brutally honest with you, I have no idea where we are. Mars Court. Where? Ma Mars Court. Mars Court, apparently. To be, yeah, like, I have no idea where we are. Okay. I've had this, which is like a Sumbu Sumbuka bomb. Soko Loco. Soko Loco bomb. It was quite nice. The pub is recently... I can just offer it in, like, 7 out of 10 standard spoons, nothing special. And I, I'm slowly descending into madness. Okay, we are at the Hampton Hall outside Liverpool Street. Next is fabulous fireplace. The fireplace naturally gets a 10 out of 10. The sours were extremely prompt. Uh, the hall is quite capacious and beautiful. The pub gets an 8 out of 10. It is a good quality spoon. And the pizza has now dissolved into my stomach and I'm feeling a little bit more sober. So you might get like six more reviews tonight. I'll see you in the next one. See you in a bit. Well, grand people, and you join me up the... Baskets. The Lost Keys. Cross. The Cross, cross with the, an E. The Cross Keys at with an E. 
I don't, Bank of England. I don't near the Bank of England. Oh, is this the one you really liked? This is the one that Tom really was like liking. And we are here. How is the hooch? Review on the hooch? It's hooch. Hooch. Oh, hooch. They do apparently a very good whiskey, which I very much enjoyed and Tom personally recommended. The pub is great. There's a bit of building work. Sort of 9 out of 10. Sort of 9 out of 10. And the pizza has digested and I'm quite sober now, which is good. So four more left. I think we're going to make it. See you at the next one. Bye-bye. There you go, Kevin. Well, grumpy people, have you got the outside of the town? Yeah, I've got my town. I don't know what the town is. But it's quite a nice one. It is red, it is shiny, it's got a black top. Mm -hmm. And if I knew how to hot wire a car, it would be mine. But I do not know how to hot wire a car, so it is not mine. So it is a 10 out of 10 McLaren, which I will leave here in good peace. Good night. Okay. <laughs> Anymore, baby. Uh, well, Grumpy Poo, we are in Cannon Street Station in, I don't know what the pub's called, does anyone? Sir John Hawkshaw. Yeah, does Sir John Hawkshaw. Sir John Hawkshaw. The Sir John Hawkshaw, which do cocktails apparently, are uh, general, it is the best weather spoons in a station I have seen today. Yeah. I don't know about the toilets, they have a lot of gambling machines if you want to gamble your life savings. But cherry sour shots were cherry sour shots. It's another one of those spoons, which is just a spoons. Seven out of ten. Happy days. Three more to go. This is happening. This is gonna. This is gonna be completed. I'm hyped. Tom is as hyped. Put it come on, Tom. He is hyped. <laughs> and yeah. So a uh, few more to go. See what the third to last one. This is hype train 101. We're gonna do this. See you in a bit. Like where are we? We were at the Liberty Towns near Bounds. Downs. Bounds. Bounds. Crowns. Crowns. Bounds. Bounds. The Liberty Bounds, near somewhere where you can get executed, is quite nice. I don't think you can get executed anymore. Not anymore. Okay, you can get executed historically if you have a time machine, which we don't. But it's quite nice. 8 out of 10. <laughs> They're a bit better. The pub is like that staircase, Charles. Turn around. That staircase. <laughs> that staircase is a plus one. It's one ninety nine. Upstairs PA yeah, nice. is quite nice. They say upstairs is quite nice. Top notch. Eight out of ten. Eight out of ten. Okay. <laughs> Two more to go. Let's go. With it. Yeah. Well, Guan, I now have the hiccups. I don't know where I am. <laughs> where am I? Goodman's Fields. I'm the uh, Goodman's and Fields, my town's London, I have the hiccups, I can't be bothered to be drugged upside down as a BDSM thing, that is not, this is not the time for that. We are going to have a quick race for the last place, I don't know where that is, but I'm catching the bus, Ch Charles, point come up Charles, and Josh catching buses, Tom is going to run, this is going to be a great race like Top Gear, London, Top Gear. <laughs> Get it out, come on. Top Gear St. Petersburg, I'm very hit on Did you not see Tom, Top Gear St. Petersburg? No. So, well, Grand people, we are at the second to last pub, the Good and Arms. We have, it's not, it's not even that, we have one more pub to go. Because it's not the 20th pub, it's the 19th pub, charge. we've made up our own rules. I am going to catch the boss. These two <laughs> amazing people are going to run. I'm Josh. Going to run with Josh and then get the bike. Josh is going <laughs> okay. to get the bike. We don't know. This is a Top Gear style race. I'm catching the bus. TFL for life. Uh, and we're going to go. F three, two, one, go. All right, let's go. This way, Charles. Yeah, roughly. We need to take a left at some point. That's quite the problem. Yeah. Wow. At least we lose, we split it. <laughs> yeah. What are we splitting? The bill. Oh, right, yeah, that's fine. Am I meant to be recording it? <laughs> no. Oh, it's fine. I saw it. To the final pub. This is quite an amazing achievement. I feel this is online with Sir Lewis Hamilton finishing his seventh world title last year. 
Unfortunately, Max Verstappen won this year for some technicalities, and he was clearly sucking Michael McCassie's dick. But that does not matter because Verstappen won the World Championship. But I am not bitter about that because we did visit the seven, 19th spoon in Zold One. We have this Prosecco. We, which, did it. I'm done now, we all did it.